What's up, fellow lords of gaming, and welcome back to the channel. We're jumping in with some more Black Desert Online content, specifically taking a look at the update for June 26. So let's jump right on in. So let's take a look at those patch notes because they should be pretty exciting to us, starting off with the biggest one of them all, the Pin Black Star Main Awakening Weapon Reward. So uh, as was announced during the Heidel Ball, we have the new primordial grade weapons called the Sovereigns. Um, they're going to make their debut uh, in Black Desert. I think that the date for that release was like July 3rd. In preparation for that, they're basically adding a new method for adventurers to select and obtain a pin black star weapon, whether it's going to be main or awakening weapon. Um, veterans who have been crafting black star weapons are going to be able to quickly craft the upcoming sovereign weapons, while new adventurers are going to basically be able to use um, go to challenge higher level monsters to basically try to get the primordial flame and do that. So we're going to go into the notes here and basically take a look at it. So essentially, this should be available to all players inside their challenge tab if you've completed some of the conditions so here goes the requirements that you have to have to order acquire that pin black star reach level 61 should be pretty easy at this point in the game and complete one of the following quest lines complete the main quest up to medea which we'll get into a little bit more because they have redone the jordine saga quest line and revamped that and reworked it or to compete any of these other quest lines and then that'll be available to you you're then able to select your pin black star main or weapon in uh, main or awakening weapon be careful about which one you choose and make sure you choose the right one um, once you are able to select either of those you're then going to basically have that in your inventory and you you should just basically be waiting at that point uh, for the sovereign weapon release. And when the sovereign weapons are released, one of the things you'll be able to do is combine uh, pin black star weapons. So like, for instance, we've had pin black star weapons before in the past that you could either get from Jatina or something like that, that you couldn't sell on the marketplace. So having another pin black star weapon that you're being received for free that doesn't have um, any way for you to basically sell it should net you an easy and quick way as a veteran player to basically combine those pin weapons and basically get your start on the sovereign weapon class. Um, so next up, like I was talking about, Serendia and Calpheon main quest line has been revamped. So the Jordine saga has basically been reworked. Um, basically, you know, they, they've done this a couple of times where we re revamped the uh, the, the dialogue, the, you know, everything that's going on with the game to make it more appealing to new players and stuff like that. I'll go through this when the uh, next class Dosa releases and I'll go through the entire quest line story more than likely so that way you guys can see it. I've um, been waiting for a really good male class to go back into the season pass and play that. So you can see here, it's just basically going to be starting the quest line. Adventure awaits basically to jump into that. You're basically just completing the main, the Black Spirit main quest, and he'll take you through the quest line. Uh, so you can see that. So a great time for them to be revamping it, especially as we look at July 3rd, right around the corner. And we're looking at the Dosa class release for players to basically jump in. These are some of the illustrations that they basically have from the quest line. I think this is going to be really enjoyable, in my opinion. Uh, so you can skip the lines and sync with audio. That's going to be there. So this is good. Next up, we've got a number of events that are basically coming up in the game. So let's take a look at that right off the bat. So I'm going to pull up some other tabs here because I've got them open. Number one, we've got the Restore the Light with the Light of Aura to Songdo School, the Tarnished Sword. So this one is going to be running from June 26th to July 17th. You basically have to log in. There's going to be Event Tarnished Sword from the challenges. You're going to collect the Event Light Aura by defeating monsters or gathering or fishing to enhance the sword. And you can enhance the Event Tarnished Sword to pin five. Think about that, guys. Pin five, enhanced from, from plus one to pre for personal rewards. We just duo to pin to unlock server rewards. So this is like a collective game event for players to go. So you can see here, they're putting a lot into the event for the... Uh, for the for the dosa so this should be good claim event light auras times 240 from the challenge login rewards alone so you're basically playing black desert during the event period and you'll claim that tarnished sword you'll basically be able to use it the, you can do it either pve or you could do it through gathering or you could do it through fishing so this is going to be a really good event for everybody to basically participate in and that way we all benefit from rewards from people just playing it so you can see here each time you enhance the event tarnished sword to a new enhancement level show 
it to Dongwa and Velia to claim a reward, which is going to be the Shikatu Splendid Box, Cronstones times five, the Advice of Valk, and the Unsa Gowans Fondo, which is going to be something you could put inside your house to get some enhancement buffs. So this is pretty good. Logging in during the challenging uh, rewards at regular intervals. So basically pay for 60 minutes a day and you'll be able to collect some of these light auras. Here we have like basically the uh, achievement rewards basically for going up the different scales. So energy gourd bottles, you know, recovery 100 energy, Vox cry. Okay, you know, advice of Vox, enhancement help kits times two, black stone times 20, memory fragment, sharp black stones, the rear course of training blocks at, at just flop, at, plus five this is you know really nice uh vox plus 70 choose your artist and worker box i'm loving that one the item collection increase skull the supreme old moon boxes Patrigo's apparel bag. That's one's always nice to have somewhere to store any of your outfits that you purchase. Cradogdo's horse gear crafting box. So Garmoth scales time 100. Choose one of pure vin vanadium, knock or titanium crystals. That's really good. The advice of Vox times 80 uh, or plus 80, excuse me, the enhancement helping kit. Uh, royal root fern mythical mythical feathers and then we get the advice of vox and then finally when you get into pry duo try tet and pin you get the shikatu splendid box the cron stones the advice of vox and then the unsuck gowans fondo i hope i'm saying this right i would love if i had a korean viewer basically make sure that i wasn't butchering the goddamn language um but yeah so next up we also have the dark rift event which i told you guys about last week and said hey Make sure that in preparation for this, you do not uh, play your Dark Rift because the Dark Rift event is running. So unveil the treasures from the Heidel Ball from June 26th to July 10th. The event Golden Treasure Chest appears at the Coastal Cliff of Velia. Defeat the event Golden Treasure Chest to earn the event Class Signia Box and materials for Mythical Awakening. So basically, you're going to want to make sure to take your happy butt over to Velia. It's a location we're all familiar with. Red, uh, what is his name? Uh, I can't remember the fucking world boss basically forms there so from that gold treasure box these are the things we're basically looking at the mythical feathers the royal ferns latent boss or concentrated boss crystals box of the silent dead ancient spirit dust and memory fragments so you're going to want to make sure that you participate in this event because it should be a really good one so basically that dark rift will appear and you're in your bottom uh, rift window and during that time and you just need to basically go over and make sure that you kill um that rift boss it's just a treasure box so it should be pretty easy for you to complete um next up we've got the <clears throat> we've got the summer well we'll get into that one in a second because we actually have another event going on in here so we've got the prepare to welcome new adventurers uh apply for guild recruitment support campaign to welcome new members you can get up to 10 billion silver and guild funds for welcoming new guild members so this is that time to start the guild rush and get new players into your guild so that way you can get some rewards to help so basically here you can see by getting up to 10 new guild members you can get up to 10 billion in guild funds um inside of there so that's a really good really good kind of thing inside there so you can see See new and returning adventures as well looking for a guild will earn the title and then there's 3000 loyalties elion's blessings the enhancement help kit and the old moon accessory support box for basically joining a guild so new adventure guild login rewards are also going to be available so these are really good for seven days the 3000 loyalties loving those the brilliant fairy wings for joyful layla is also going to be available hornet's dark honey and then old moon accessory support box returning adventures will have access to very similar rewards as well and then we can see from the adventure selection box these are going to be the rewards that they basically have especially the event of golden blessings of agris inside the shop so liking that one overall one of the things i do want to point out before we get into the summer sale packages and things like that please do not forget about the ball held in heidel coupon code this is a really really great code basically for you to earn um two J's for hammers of loyalty and a choose your 10 year outfit box. A 10 year outfit box is going to have some of the more popular uh, outfits over BDO's 10 year history. So make sure that you are doing that. 
it's going to be uh, pretty good in my opinion to do that. So uh, make sure you jump in. Lastly, we've got the summer sale for summer packages. So the Explorer and Traveler packs on Steam and stuff like that are discounted right now and available for you at a very discounted rate. So have fun with that. Finally, let's jump into what they have here as the new additions and improvements for class changes. Find your character and basically look at what's been changed there. Um, kind of important for you to notice. Roshina the Barter at Harkovin Island has started off having a hefty crow coin. So those things have changed in terms of what you need to basically get those. Title Blackstones that are going to be obtained from defeating the guild boss Khan is going to be increased as well. So you can see here where it's 50 of these are guaranteed instead of uh, a set of quarteries. Devil Wrecker accessories are now part of Dark Rift rewards. So this is the reason why you wanted to hold on to those Dark Rifts specifically to help out with this. This is going to be a really good thing in my opinion um, because it's just going to give more people access to those Deborah records. So they're all available to you there. They're all unenhanced is what it says. So I don't think that they're necessarily going to have the greatest drop rate inside of there, but at least you have a chance at getting them from playing Dark Rifts, which makes uh, doing Dark Rifts a lot more important. I think this is one of the best ways in BDO for me that I've seen since uh, returning full time that you can earn a lot of gold because these boxes drop some really good items that can be sold on a marketplace. I'm noticing my worker empire with the way the changes have happened, you know, the market's pretty flooded and saturated in some of the things that you would be farming from my worker empire. So this has turned into a better place for me. They changed the following basic gathering and fishing tools to no longer be obtainable. Uh, so white grade far, uh, white graded gathering and fishing tools are no longer available. They improved the uh, messengers inside the city of the dead the Tungrad ruins has been also improved as well and then they've changed some of the quest knowledge as well for basically doing it so these are basically decreased so you can see the number of kill items that you needed so if you're still trying to farm your ornets and odors uh spirit essence these are your infinite mp infinite hp uh pots you now have a reduce so this is pretty good in terms of like the time for these weeklies because man i mean it's not bad necessarily because i remember when it like i was doing tranquil tenolium uh for the forest ronaros and it was 3500 but realistically truthfully that would still take me maybe like an hour hour or so like that's a farm 3500 of them and the the deal with it is is that i still find that i'll still probably end up having to do that because you're the drop rates on the item specifically whether you're farming you know the blood wolf uh tickets or the venom or whatever in those areas you're still going to spend that time so does it really make a difference whether or not the objective is uh, you know, 3,500 or a thousand, you'll complete that weekly quest quicker. Obviously that'll be more helpful if you don't have the time to necessarily grind for that, but more than likely I'll still grind for like an hour or two a day to see if I can't get those drop rates inside there. So they have made some node and conquest war changes as well. So you can see the changes here. If you're particularly participating, um, inside there, very simple nodes will be activated according to the number of guild alliance that apply for no war in each territory. And so if there's few Fewer nodes, uh, fewer participants, there's going to be fewer nodes. That was how it was before. After, there are going to be nodes are uh, activated according to the number of guild alliance that apply for node wars. If there's less than 50% of the guild members have a click, they apply for no war by the time the territory where no war will take place is announced. The guild can still participate, but it will not affect the rules for node force activation. So that's good overall. So a very simple uh, patch for the week, even though it was a very large patch at three something gigabytes worth. Um, so there's a lot of things that were basically added. Uh, the thing I always like to finally look at is the shop items that are basically available to you. So that way, you know what is worth purchasing, what is not maybe worth purchasing. So you can see here, they do have the Heidel Ball Pearl boxes inside the shop. So so essentially you're getting double the benefits for these Heidel shops. So for 8,000 A coins um, or $80, you're basically looking at uh, getting 16,000 of your pearls inside the shop. Not a bad uh item there at all and you can see there's multiple of these so you can start off at the 1000 you'll basically get 2000 pearls for that one and then going up to 3000 here where you'll basically net yourself 6400 
And then over here, we're basically going up the scale to get about 8,000. And then finally over here for 80, you're getting 100 and basically 16,000 um, pearls in total. Actually, a little bit more than that if you add up the 360s in total. So those are some of the things as well. So you can see there has the uh, the DOSA pre-release pack is also available inside of here with some of the uh, DOSA you know, uniforms that will be available for the DOSA. Um, I have so many packs that I don't need to worry about this. I have uniforms where the DOSA will just be available for me there. So not something I basically need. You've got the Heidel Festival packs as well inside the shop. So these are pretty good if you needed some premium outfits and so forth like that. They're one remaining purchases overall. Um, so just take a look at some of the item shops. Those are pre pretty much all of the ones that they basically have released um, in the game at current. I think there is some function ones that they also added. I was really hoping inside of the um, inside of the Heidel shop that they were going to do something or inside the Heidel ball that they were going to make some type of announcement about family inventory weight limits. It's been my main distraction from basically leveling up any of the other characters or investing so heavily in any other characters is essentially my my weight limit that I've purchased on my Hashashin is basically the biggest in terms of inventory weight. So I can it, it doesn't make much sense for me to farm with another class. I would love it for this in inventory weight system to become distributed across all of your classes but i do understand that they probably make a great deal of money off of the weight limit increases so we'll have to see where they go with that in the future but for now it is what it is um you can see that so you can see the dose pre-release pack the mystery outfit boxes mostly outfits on sale inside there um you know the game's pretty good about you know selling you on things to you know just uniform items and stuff like that um pay to win or play play to play if however you look at it but that's everything going on in black desert for the week let me know what you guys think about the game and its current state and are you happy with the releases and the understanding of those like i said do not forget to acquire your pin black star weapon um, it's going to be really nice to pair that up with any black star weapon unfortunately i put myself in a pretty bad predicament because here you can see i've got my pin dandelion dual glive and but i went and got a god here <laughs> dual glive so i don't know what the hell to make of my god here dual glive now um and where that's going to be in terms of market value if i have to sell it because i now have this sovereign weapon so <laughs> i may be fucked i hope you guys enjoyed the video please uh take the time to like and subscribe until next time peace